I'm Katie Gerfin, the Senior Design Editor for Architect Magazine. Joining me today are John Cricken and Ellen Liu from SOM, uh, who are here at the 2013 AIA Convention to celebrate the AIA Honor Award win for the Nanhu New Farm Village Master Plan. Congratulations to you both for the award. Thank you. Thank you very so, much. I wonder if you could tell me a little bit of today, if you could tell me some of the principles behind the New Farm Village Master Plan. What were some of the things that you were looking at, the conditions that you were working with when you developed the plan? Start. Well, there's three aspects of it. One is the agriculture part, the farm. The other one is water, and then the village. So I'll do the agriculture, maybe you'll do the village. So in terms of agriculture, we actually worked with a farm agriculture expert in terms of how do they assemble the land and allow introduction of new technology to uh, to make it more productive mm -hmm. and to make it again an attractive profession for the people, young people who wants to come back and to increase the yield. So we created a variety of different kind of farms, they are larger organic rice farms, smaller high-tech organic farms, family farm, farm for urban medicine, and also community farms, so that different people get to engage with the farm and participate in the process. Fantastic. You want to talk about village? Well, the village is a series of very walkable neighborhoods, and they're often bond bounded by uh, the, the irrigation system that was there earlier for the uh, for irrigating the farmland and we're cleaning that water through wetlands and so forth. So it would be not only its agricultural resource but also a recreation resource for kayaking or, or strolling along the water's edge and that sort of thing. So it would be quite a beautiful and unique uh, setting for a village. It's mainly low-rise buildings. And it has um, you know, sort of a classic market center for a small town. And um, anyway, we're looking quite forward to. In China, one of the key questions is how do you keep buildings from being repetitive looking, almost like a military camp? And so we're using different architects for the different neighborhoods, and even mixing some of the buildings between neighborhoods create that diversity and variety that we all love about where we live. So this is an existing community that you're going in and sort of, and the plan is overlaying. So you're talking about using agriculture to, um, you know, find ways to allow people, young people who want to come back to the community and farm. How are some of the ways that you can actually use these, these urban planning principles to help um, encourage people to be able to come back. It's amazing to attract young people to come back and see they need a better living environment. The way they live are all just very handmade, not really the modern structures that they have, so it's not very desirable living environment. Mostly it's through the new introduction of the new farming technology so that they will have high yield, they will provide a much better quality of life and, uh, and, and teaching them new ways to manage the farm. So they actually, the, when we were just talking to the client, they actually had about 15 local agricultural uh, university graduates who is coming to intern on the farm. So they, they have begun their first phase of the farm. That's it's very, very encouraging. What is the timeline that you all are looking at for the actual implementation of the New Farm Village? This is a very interesting question. So if you talk to the local officials, the Chinese officials, they like this to be done in five, eight years. Um, so speedy time frame. <laughs> speedy time frame. So they have the first organic farm running now. They need to go through a three-year certification process. They got their first um, residential village development land. We're guessing it would be somewhere around 10, 15 years. Fantastic. Well, well, we'll see. Time will tell us. <laughs> well, we will closely watch and see the development of the project. It will be a very interesting one to see come up over the years. Thank right. you both so much for taking the so time to speak with us today. Congratulations again on the award. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.